Hi, my name is Chuan Zhao, who is a second year ENE student from INTI International College Penang. I'm currently studying under a degree program name, Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical and Electronic, which collaborate with Coventry University in UK. The presentation I'm doing right now is actually a submission of coursework for 200 CAW Academic Writing 2. Move to the next slide. Okay, um, our beloved lecturer has chosen a topic name Performance of a small scale solar cogeneration system in the equatorial zone of Malaysia for us to carry out the critic review on it. Okay, so why? Why we use solar cogeneration system in Malaysia? The reason we use we can use solar cogeneration system in Malaysia is because Malaysia is located in the equatorial region at the earth which the weather is hot and humid all year round. Um, with the strategic location we add, um, solar energy is one of the most sufficient energy we can receive which the, sol the daily solar radiation mean can reach to 4.7 to 6.5 kWh per meter square. Therefore, Malaysia has a very high potential for developing solar core drainage system in Malaysia. And now, move to the next slide. The question will be how? How does solar core generation system process or work? Move to the next slide. Okay, these are the schematic diagram for a small scale solar core drainage system. This solar core system consists of three main subsystems which are the solar fuel and the thermal storage room and lastly the organic ranking cycle ORC power conversion system. In the solar solar fuel collector, um, the solar parabolic trope collector will absorb the solar energy which received from the sun and then the thermal energy from the solar collector field will be stored in the thermal storage room. And lastly, the thermal energy will be used in the ORC system, which will heat the fluid into vapor and then um, transform the turbine in order to produce the electrical power for it. Move to the next slide. Okay, the question will be when. When is this small scale solar quadrant system conducted by authors? Actually, this research paper has reviewed about the three months performance of Malaysia's small scale solar quadrant system, which intended to be a potential guide for a construction of a larger scale solar quadrant system in Malaysia for the future. So the author has conducted this experiment in the month of May, June, and July in 2018. Move to the next slide. This will be the significance of the study. The significance of the study is to find out the performance generated by an ORC solar coordinator system in Malaysia by analyzing the performance on both real-time experiment and also the software simulation. The real-time experiment is being performed using the Excel spreadsheet for the production value while the software simulation has been written in a way of a MATLAB code. The next will be this article also presents a method to estimate the optical efficiency of the collector which are a transient thermal model to calculate and predict the exit fluid temperature in the system and it also explains the importance of the um, thermal system in order to effectively store the solar energy which rapidly fluctuated. Furthermore, the article also preferred a working fluid name Terminal BB-1 to be used in the transient thermal model for the solar parabolic collector tube. My 
next will be the critic review part. This entire article is based on the quantitative approach that carried out with a transient thermal model by using the real-time experiment and also a MATLAB software simulation by the authors. Okay. For example, in this figure 4, the comparison of the exit fluid temperature between the real-time experiment and also the MATLAB simulation did not vary very much. It's proven in this figure, in this diagram. There are four types of claims being used in these articles by the authors, which are the fact, the cost, defined, and the value. The fact that um, the fact that uh, these articles is been wisely used and developed is because the continuously solar energy providing from the sun in Malaysia. The cost is this system can be used in fuel saving, which using the renewable energy and also reduce the greenhouse gas emission effect. The way of Design and performance result of this solar core generator system has been defined by the authors in these articles. And lastly, um, the comparison between the real-time experiment and also the MATLAB simulation software result has made these articles in terms of value. Move to the next slide. Okay, the demonstrative and documentary evidence were being used in these articles as well by the authors which the authors have implemented the chart, flow chart, the schematic diagram, plot diagram in this article to support their findings and thoughts in a more detailed way as you can see in this picture here. The next will be my perspective on the article's significance, arguments. However, the author does not explain about the functionality of the proposed transient thermal model of the solar collective field from the previous study, which may affect the reliability of these articles. Other than that, um, the significant operating advantages of the um, VP of the terminal VP1 working fluid does not mention in these articles as well. This terminal VP-1 working fluid has a significant advantage because of its low viscosity which leads to less power consumption will be needed to enable its movement in the solar collector field which by the Susan findings. Next will be the potential of the study in this article. To further improve the system, the manufacturing of the PV panel can be made by using the monocrystalline silicon based, based material is because it can easily achieve a higher power generation efficiency which can reach 25%. Besides, the total electrical energy transmission efficiency can be improved easily um, by increasing the total surface area of the PV panel as well. So thus, serve as a future reference, the solar core system can be easily been improved by using the monocrystalline silicon based material and increasing the surface area of the PV panel in the solar collector field. Um, okay. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your patience and time for listening. Bye-bye.